Hi, how are you? Welcome. Uh, my name is George. So today I want us to talk about characteristics of strategic leaders. Strategic leaders. Very important. Um, it's important if you are running an organization to be a strategic leader. Everyone is looking up to you. Whatever industry you are in, whether you are a doctor, an architect, construction, a uh, restaurant, wherever industry that you are in, everyone is looking up to you as a leader. Therefore, the, the characteristics that I'm about to give are not all of them, but they can, you know, they can put you on a starting place to know what you need to do. So the first characteristic of a strategic leader that you must develop to become a strategic leader is visionary thinking. Visionary thinking. Uh, so as a strategic leader, you need to have a clear and compelling vision for your organization's future. A very clear and compelling vision. You need to envision uh, possibilities, anticipate the trends, and articulate a long-term direction that inspires and motivates others or the people that follow you. Strategic leaders are visionary thinkers. They think in terms of the future. They think in terms of the things to come. They think in terms of elevation. How do we build elevation to the next place? How do we go from step one to step two and from step two to step three? Number two thing or number two characteristic is strategic mindset. Strategic mindset. As a great leader or as a strategic leader, you have to learn how to think and act strategically. Thinking and acting. You see, it is one thing to, to think. It is another thing to actually act. So, as a strategic leader, learn to think and act strategically. You must have the ability to analyze complex situations. You must have the ability to identify patterns and you must have the ability to understand the broader implications of the decisions that you are about to make. In other words, you must see the bigger picture and translate that big picture into actionable strategies. Okay, Strategic mindset. Number three, characteristic is analytical and critical thinking. A strategic leader. As a strategic leader, you need to be skilled. So you have to develop a skill of, uh, of gathering and analyzing relevant information. Gathering and analyzing relevant information. By this, you can use data. You can use market insights. You can use internal assessments in your own organizations. And this will help you to make informed decisions. In other words, you can think critically and you can also you should also be able to weigh alternatives and consider potential risks and opportunities. This is what we call analytical and critical thinking. You've got to do that. You've got to know it. Okay. Number four, uh, characteristic of a strategic leader is decisiveness. You've got to know how to make decision and make those decisions. You have to be decisive. You have to be able to make tough choices. You have to have the ability to gather input and to consider multiple perspectives. And you have to act with conviction. Okay? Do not be afraid to take calculated risks and make timely decisions that will help you to move the organization forward. All right? Number five characteristic of a strategic leader is collaboration and influence. It means that as a strategic leader, you must be effective in collaborating and influencing. In other words, you must build strong relationships, you must seek diverse perspectives, and you must learn how to encourage teamwork with the people that you are leading or the people that you are working with. You've got to have that ability. You see, this is all about capacity and ability. And one thing I believe about capacity and ability is that you can grow it. 
you can uh, you know you can build your capacity you can increase your ability so you must have the ability to inspire and motivate others and you must have the ability and the capacity to gain people's support and commitment so that they are able you're able to drive them to your shared goals okay then number six critical thing or number six characteristic of a strategic leader is one common thing that has been you know people are speaking about emotional intelligence as a strategic leader you need to possess high emotional intelligence you must understand your own emotions and the emotions of those that you lead you must allow people to navigate interpersonal dynamics effectively by doing that or for you to do that you've got to understand your emotions and these are the people's emotions you're able to demonstrate empathy to build trust and communicate with authenticity and sensitivity in other words your your job is not to bash people or to criticize people but your job is to be uh, empathetic and to have sensitivity someone said that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care so it's not about just leading it's not just about profits it's not just about you know you having your way it's also about the people that you are leading number seven characteristic is resilience and adaptability as a strategic leader you've got to be resilient and adaptable in the face of change and uncertainty and you know very well that in the world we are living in today change is inevitable uncertainty is the order of the day we do not know how the markets will perform tomorrow we do not know what next big business will collapse we do not know whether we are going to recession or the, there is an economic recovery so as a leader you must be resilient and also adaptable you must be flexible in your movements so what you can do is learn how to handle ambiguity uh, learn how to overcome obstacles so that you're able to bounce back from setbacks you see as a leader of of any industry you understand that there will be a lot of uh, you know setbacks but as much as there will be setbacks there has also to be a lot of comebacks from you do not give up okay so a strategic leader uh, embraces or you are supposed to embrace new ideas and encourage a culture of innovation and learning now number 8 characteristic of a strategic of a strategic leaders is ethical and values driven you've got to be ethically driven and value driven learn how to prioritize ethics and integrity in your decision making let me repeat that learn how to prioritize ethics and integrity in your decision making demonstrate a strong moral compass to the people that are following you learn how to promote ethical behavior and align actions with organizational values in other words don't just do stuff for the sake of it or consider your ethics consider the ethics of the organization consider your morals okay inspire trust and foster a positive organizational culture as a strategic leader number 9 characteristic is continuous learning never stop learning as a leader strategic think uh, strategic leaders do not stop to learn they keep learning one of the challenges that i've seen in in the businesses that i do uh, in management consultancy is leaders uh, or managers or CEOs who have stopped learning the day you stop learning is the day you start dying so you've got to keep learning you can learn from your janitors and you can learn from the people who fund you or from your sponsors you can learn from anywhere uh, you must have a thirst for knowledge and a commitment to continuous learning you must stay updated on industry trends seek new insights my friends and adapt your leadership approach 
based on new information. Don't just do things the, the old way the, uh, that is known as legacy practices. You've got to do away with legacy practices because we are living in a rapidly and quickly changing world. Therefore, you've got to change with it. So encourage a culture of learning and development within the organization. And the last characteristic that I want to, uh, to speak to you is long-term orientation. Brilliant characteristic. You have to take a long-term perspective in your decision making. In other words, you have to balance short-term results with sustainable long-term goals. Therefore, by the time you're making a decision, you need to know and understand how will this decision affect the long-term goals. Resist the temptation of short-sighted gains and make choices that align with the organization's strategic objectives, which means one thing, you cannot run an organization without a strategy and you cannot run an organization without having this strategy being analyzed and being objective. So you've got to come up with these things in your own organization. Ten characteristics of strategic leaders. Thank you and God bless you.